Hello, my name is Steve Chapman and I'm the Managing Director of Dragonfly Training, a company I set up 16 years ago in order to provide practical, hands-on and above all realistic courses for teachers, run by people like myself who still go into the classroom every week and teach. In today's teaching world, it often seems that middle leaders are either left totally to their own devices and left to swim in a sea of confusion did you believe in Santa Claus? Or they micromanaged to within an inch of their job description and simply left with no decision-making capabilities at all. Some have very little support in the way of training and often struggle with the new responsibilities, whilst others seem to be merely trained in how to tow the company line. Have you got a solution for it or did you just have some? As a former middle leader myself, I remember all too well the pressures of the role. I remember the sleepless nights, the putting out of papers in the exam hall, the endless directives coming from up above, having a deputy head in my departmental meetings, and being told to write a version of War and Peace in preparation for my first inspection. You'll take decisions on stretching the... So that's what got me thinking. Why not run a conference for all middle leaders and focus on the leadership of learning as the core role of leadership? With the emphasis not on the tick box teaching that seems to bedvile our profession these days, but on real, genuine and enjoyable teaching that actually genuinely makes a difference to the pupils. The tiniest amount of stress. So, that's exactly what we did. Middle leadership is often described as the engine room of the school. Show me a good school and I think nine times out of ten I'm going to show you a very, very strong middle leadership. You've got sticky hands. We really wanted to focus on the person, not the system. So our courses were designed to look at the individual and their roles and their responsibilities within the system, not the system itself. We wanted to make sure that everybody left with a passion and a wealth of strategies that they could implement in their school the very next day. Yeah. Hello, I'm with you tomorrow. This meant selecting courses that would look at developing individuals and their potential, not just the systems. So our courses were carefully selected to give teachers hands-on practical experience in coping with the pressures of working in a 21st century school. We opened up the conference by examining the thorny subject of resilience and emotional health. This was given by our expert, John Bockelman Evans, who gave an exhilarating keynote speech on how to cope with the pressures of working in a modern school. How? With the tiniest amount of stress? Following this, the conference moved on to an exploration of evidence and teaching. We all know that this has become a real hot topic in schools, and a new take on this was presented by Alan Jarvis, one of our senior trainers. Why have you chosen not to set in These included... Leadership versus management, the realist's guide to both. The big five, an examination of the big five, the top five teaching strategies explained. The realist's guide to smoking out underperformance within your team. Establishing emotional health and well-being in you, your pupils and your colleagues. You're there, sir. Leadership through evidence-based practice. Is anybody in a school like that one? Making the most of your data and successful leadership under the new linear exam system. So please keep an eye on the website for further details. And as always, if you are interested in presenting at a Dragonfly conference, please do give me a shout because we're always on the lookout for case studies from real teachers in real schools. Because after all, that's what Dragonfly is all about.